Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario 2 in the, <laughs> in the last part. Uh, we just were working through um, the area of Petal Meadows, you know, getting to the Schwank Fortress that is ruled by Robotnik and his pingers. But anyway, uh, here, let's... Ah! Um, anyway, when you fight these guys, now these are something that you can't kill. Let's see here now. Tattle, uh, a bristle. Alright, now, bristles. What do we got on bristles, Goombella? Alright, this is a bristle. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Alright, max HP is 2. Alright, defense is 4. And they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump on a user hammer, you better use an item. Basically, these guys are invincible. And you cannot kill them without a power block. At least at this point in the game. There might be some other things I'm not thinking of. And, you know, you can kill them with that. You know, at other points in the game. But, hey! What the... Ugh, whatever. The freaking pillars fell over on me. Anyway, uh, beat the bristles. We get 15 star points for just using an item, which is awesome. But anyway, what do we got now? Alright, let's go through this door. Alright, ah, more fields to go through. Alright, I like it how everything is getting, like, slightly darker. Like, it's the afternoon. Uh, I suck at getting, like, first strikes on these things, apparently. Uh, now let me see here. I could use a fire flower to get that item that he has. I think that's something that restores FP, and that could be useful. What fire flowers do I have? Uh, here, let's go for a sleepy sheep. I'm not gonna be using these things, like, at all. So let's just see what I can do. Yay, sleepy sheeps! Owned. Alright, sleepy. Alright, now the Goomba is going to be asleep for five turns. That's awesome. And he also won't be able to use his item. So that's that's what I was going for. I didn't want him to use his item. Oh, yeah, stylish. Oh, what the? Did, did a light just fall on him? What is that? What? Wait a minute, who's attacking? Okay, this is Goombella. All right, now. Kill you. Yay. As long as he doesn't use that. Oh, he used it. No. Oh. I wanted to use that, man! Screw you, Spiked Goomba! And, oh, not enough FP, whoops. Alright, now I better kill this thing. Man! That's not fair! Stupid lamp! That random lamp fell on him, and it woke him up and he was able to use it. You lucked out! And, ooh! Hey, I still got it! Wow! That's really, really lucky! You have a really low chance of getting an item after it's been used, but geez, we got it. That's awesome. All right now, Fire Flower. I just got a Fire Flower out of that box. So, uh, here, let's go for the Paragoomba, because I want to get that Fire Flower, and I forgot to do the Stylish Command. All right, now, the other badge that I wanted to get, I know that I kind of mentioned I want to get another badge, which is why I'm probably going to be getting BP again, and then I'm going to go to HP and stuff. The other one that I want to get is, um, item hog, and that makes it, dang it, man, I suck at action commands right now. Alright, except with the guarding, I don't think I've missed, like, barely any guards at all. But anyway, uh, normal hammer, let's just kill this guy just to be safe. Just to be safe, let's use the hammer and knock him out. Alright, there we go, and head bunk. Alright, anyway. Okay, now he's down on the ground, so that's good. Alright, jump, jump! Oh, I missed the action. Ooh, flowers. Cool. That's something I want. Alright, flowers are good because they make the world smell nice and they also fuel my special attacks with which I vanquish my enemies. Anyway. Alright, yeah, we got the fire flower too. Sweet. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I don't... I, I know what this is. This is an inn coupon. Inn coupons, basically, they will just let you stay at an inn once for free, which is not really all that helpful, so I'm not going to be getting it. So, yeah. Anyway, alright, now, these are something new than the last game did not hit. Remember those healing blocks that, um, the healing blocks that were in the first game? Now you have to pay to use them. So, yeah, anyway, here's a save block right here. Let us go ahead and save. Alright, now, um, the reason why you want to save right there is because if, alright, here, I'll explain it once we start this. Alright. Oh, ah, you're the first contestants I've seen in a while. And if you've come all the way here to Schwank Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, you must compete against me. 
If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. So is it awful or terrible? I right, hmm hmm ha ha ha. Okay, I'll take you on. Oh yeah, hmm ha ha. You're in for it now. And battle. Wait, no, this is that's not a battle. Wait, what is this? It's a game show. Sweet. All right, hey hey, ladies and germs, welcome to the, everybody to the 65th super fun quirk quiz. Park up those ears. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. And isn't it is cruel and unusual indeed? You fight. If you miss three questions, you fight two bristles and two bald clefts in one battle. So if you don't have a a pow block, then you're dead. So anyway, now for the first question: What's hidden in this place? Stone keys. Duh. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Yay! All right. Arr, that's correct. Jeez, what are you getting so angry for? It's just one question. All right, that question was too easy. Now it gets much harder. Much harder. All right, now, so prepare yourself. All right, what's next? All right, on question two. Okay, we get it. What did Mr. Softener, one fire flower, cost in Petalburg? Uh, I have no clue. Hmm, I'm going to go for 20. Oh, crap. This isn't, oh, <laughs> wrong, 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 you fools. I remember if you get three, yeah, I know. And it's a good thing I saved. Okay, moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Oh, crap. I do believe it's Kroop. Good, yay, okay. All right, Kroop, arr, that's correct, okay, blah, blah, blah. Spare for yourself, okay, question four. All right. Tell me now, where is the crystal star in, um... Okay, it's in Hooktail Castle. Yeah. I just need to make sure there weren't, like, other answers that were other ones were. So, yeah, it only gets hard. Okay, yes, we know. That's what you said after the first question. All right, ready? Diabolical question five. Okay, how can one get from Petal Meadows to Rogueford? Okay, go through a pipe. Race in a cart. All right, now. Uh, yes. I love it how there's so many references in the Paper Mario games, or at least in this one, to all the other Mario games. Alright, that's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. Alright, on to question six. Which one of the following creatures have hands? Uh, Goombas don't. Fuzzies don't. Clefts don't. And Koopa Troopas have hands. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Ding, 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 ding. No! Arg, that's That's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. Yeah. We win the game. All right. We win to internets. All right. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through. Stupid rules. <laughs> all right. Anyway, once you correctly answer all five of those questions, then he will back up and a pipe will appear. Humph. Yeah, you sore loser. Anyway, go down in the pipe. Let us go. I don't I don't know why, but I love that animation. It looks great. Uh, anyway, down here there's going to be water that will slow your movement. You can jump around to move faster, but yeah. The multi-bounce. You just jump on all foes if you use the action command correctly. Uh, I've never... Even in Paper Mario 1, I never used that badge, so I don't really think it's too, too useful. But it is kind of helpful to be able to hit all enemies. So yeah. Anyway, at the end of the hall, you get the Sunstone. Hooray! And, ah, Fuzzy! No! Alright, now, Fuzzies are really weird. Fuzzies, what they will do is they will latch onto your face, and they will uh, suck your HP. So here, let's get a uh, tattle on them. I just want to see how much HP they have. Alright, now, okay, three. Oh, crap, it's three, okay. Uh, okay. Is that the worst? I mean, ew, doesn't that sound totally gross? Anyway, guard against them by pressing A the moment they release you. The timing is pretty hard to master, so uh, practice up. These things really suck. HP. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. I was looking at their health, and I for a second there I thought it said they had uh, two. One of them had two. But, um, huh. You know what? Screw fighting. I'm going to use a freaking fire flower. Oh, hey, someone was about to throw a can at us. I wonder if... I can't tell if that's an item or, like, just a can. But, yeah, we got to level up. Sweet. All right, now I'm going to get BP one last time, I believe. And I need to get some more star pieces, though. Uh, you know what? Actually, huh. 
I don't have enough star pieces to get that next badge that I want, so I'm going to go for FP. Now, whenever I upgrade FP and BP, I mean, um, HP, it's usually FP and then HP. Because FP is, I like using special moves more than staying alive, go figure. But anyway, uh, I'm going to head back in here. Um, in the next part, we will continue through the Schwank Fortress basement sewer area, I guess, and get more of the stone keys. So I'll see you then.